Greetings, Burgundians and Armagnacs! Welcome back to Real Thursday Strategy, where we are going to be the Maid of Orleans in the Chapter 2 mission, Maid of Orleans. Let's just go. March 26th, Chinon. It is one thing for a band of dispirited soldiers to put their trust in a teenage girl. It is entirely another for that girl to be given command of the army of an entire nation. Ye. We were filled with pride when we heard the Dauphin's heralds pronounce Joan the Maid as commander of the army of France. So that she may look like a general, the Dauphin presented Joan with a great war horse and a suit of white armor. Joan instructed me to look for an ancient sword buried beneath the altar of a local church. I was skeptical, but not only did the man unearth a rusted blade, but we found that the sword had belonged to Charlemagne, grandfather of France. I shall not doubt her word again. Still visible on the hilt was the Fleur de Lys. Joan adopted the Fleur de Lys as her symbol and had it blazoned on her battle standard. Wherever Joan goes, the standard goes also. It goes with us to Orléans. The city of Orléans is one of the finest in France, but it is under siege by our enemies, England and Burgundy. It is about to fall. This war has dragged on for 100 years, with precious few French victories. The people of Orléans need a savior. They will receive Joan of Arc. Yeah! So that's more or less an accurate summation of what happened. But the... So here's the thing about the history related to Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc is one of the most documented people of the, of the 15th century. And the reason for that is there were two very big major trials where both times the parties were trying to make it look like this trial wasn't rigged. Even though in both trials... I am the Duke de Lanson, milady. I will proudly ride with you to Orléans. Ah, many feet. Okay, so as I was saying, um... So there was these two really huge trials about Joan, and the, the whole thing was that the first trial was the English trying Our very hard to tell. prove she was a The complete... English are coming! Okay, we'll get moving. Um, it was the English trying very hard to prove that Joan was a bad person and a heretic. The, uh, the second trial trial was the French trying to basically bon chance, say Jean. Bon chance, Jean. Merci beaucoup, Frère. Um, or, excuse me, Claire. Anyway, um, the second trial was the entirety of France saying, uh-uh, Jones is saying. So, oh, Burgundians! Get him! This Burgundian rebel shall not stop us. <laughs> and it looks like we survived. Magnifique. Um, so yeah, Joan kinda had this whole thing going on. It was, it was pretty crazy. Um, but as a result of that, we have a whole bunch of trial records of Joan basically being kind of a badass and a lot of recordings of things like the army of France is yours to command some army <laughs> oh well I'm not complaining all right so we need to get the supplies to audio now here here's a perfect example um, well, the people of the time will often recall Joan being given command of the army and being sent as a savior to Orléans. That's not exactly what happened. Now, on to Orléans. We need to get your supplies past the English. 
theft. They basically took her, um, oh, yeah. said, well, we can't determine if these visions she's claiming she has come from God or the devil. Uh, she's clearly convinced they come from God. And she herself is of good character. So she is being deceived. Um, oh, yeah. So that that wasn't an issue. Oh yeah. Um. Leave it. So they decided. You know what? If she is really the chosen virgin of God, sent to oh, yeah. free France from the tyranny of English oppression Leave and it. the Burgundian oh, yeah. rabble, uh, then let's oh, yeah. send her to the most hopeless situation she can find. And well, if she fails, oh, yeah. men were going there to cause problems anyway. <laughs> Wait. No. 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 Absolutely do not. And stop killing my archers. <laughs> Alright, now take down that tower. That tower is immense. Okay. So yeah, let's send Joan into the most hopeless, difficult, desperate situation we can possibly come up with. And, uh... Well, if she can... Oh, oh. <laughs> just one little dude. And if she can survive it, more power to her. If not, well, she wasn't the, the chosen version of the Messiah. And it was on that pretense that Joan was sent to Orléans. And it wasn't until she got to Orléans and saved the day that she ended up in charge of the French hey, army. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit more later. For now, Oil. we're almost to Orléans! Oil. Libé. Pirax. Hey! Cert. The flag of Orléans! Joan the maid has come. We are saved. Voila! Jean the Marc has brought us supplies. Now we can muster the forces we need to raise one of the English castles. That we can! So let's get started on that right away. Um, how many villagers do I have? Three. Only, only the three? Let's fix okay. that. Um... Cafe. Food! Get me food! Where's food? We're going to have to build a farm! Hmm. I don't like building farms outside city walls. Is that all? Okay, so our next objective is to destroy at least one of the English castles. Easy enough. Let's start building that farm out here. We'll build a mill. And then we shall build a, a farm. A farm. A farm. A farm. Okay, I guess we're not building a farm. A farm. Okay. Another farm! Oh. Castle Age research complete! Cool! Actually, get get working on that. Hey. Uh, right. So let's have hey. you to start working on wood. We're going to need a fair amount of wood because we're going to need at least five rams if we want to beat the British machines or castles. Um. Let's see, Northern English? Where is Burgundy? 
fucking do? Do I have a scout? Boy. I have a knight. I was kind of hoping for a scout. No, I can make a scout. I can't make a scout. I need more food. <laughs> oh, where's... Cafe? Okay. Uh... Pastisor. I need scouts. Bring me the food! <laughs> I also need stone and gold. No, not nearly as much as I need everything else. Um, you know, I will just use a single full health knight. You know, I'll use a weakened knight. Have him go run around and explore things. <laughs> little addition. Hey. Do we have stone anywhere? Oh no. So there's something of interest over there. What about over here? A lot of wood in this in this area. Is he really that much faster than you? <laughs> I suppose it is just a light scout with a shocking amount of knights chasing him. <clears throat> oh, good, he's dead. Back to the city! <laughs> Yeah, by the way, um, when it says protect the cathedral, it means it. The game will kill you if you don't protect your cathedral. Um, where's my siege workshop? I couldn't have one of those until this age, could I? Can you? Yeah. yeah. Let's mark it. Military buildings. Siege workshop. Bastis you want to take down a castle? You need stuff to take down a castle. <laughs> hmm. So I take it I'm not getting a map in that area of the map. Fair enough. Siege workshop built. Alrighty. Let's see, what do we what can we improve? Infantry, we want scale braiding. Cavalry have better attack. Infantry and cavalry. Oh, I'm being attacked by the Northern English. A single longbowman. Hey. Are you daft? No, you need to keep exploring. Oh, some gold. Excellent. And 
some stone. Excellent. This is exactly why you send out scouting parties. Ah! But the British have a little garrison there. Cafe. Okay, I want all of you guys to go over here and just start farming these fields. I want... Where are my other villagers? I hear them cutting down wood. No, don't cut down the trees Pirates. inside the thing. all of my villagers. Well then, let's get that scout we wanted. Um, and then we're just gonna upgrade whatever we can. Food we have for more villagers! Okay, okay you will be our first uh there's a mining camp. And you will build a mining camp here for gold! Get used to it. Um, I want that scout cavalry to go like here. I, I'm looking at Burgundy, and I'm seeing a a place ripe for the picking. <laughs> I love how the archers are just slowly firing at it. You were just kind of out of it, huh? Pull back. Pirates. 
Kill him and pull back. In fact, defensive stance for now. Oh, good! More food! We are in desperate need of food because I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Actually, we could... Do we have a market? We could buy food from a market. Two things of food and create as many villagers as I can. Hey, Dina, I want more food. marches on its stomach. So the old saying goes. So it's funny, that that little thing comes from the William Wallace campaign, but it was actually a phrase invented by Napoleon of all people. Do I? Huh. You don't get to stand there looking smug. Oh! A duck! Mm. Actually sending out an attack. I wonder if the Burgundians are like over here. Oui. Oil. Set. Lipe. Pre. Vilain. More food. Villagers work more efficiently by carrying 20% more resources. Alright, now I gotta start working on those rams. What do we need for rams? Where'd I put their siege torch? Ah, oh, here. 
You? No, I'm gonna keep you around. Live. For now. Um. Okay, yeah. Because I'm gonna want a guy who can build stuff. But I'm gonna put you where I can see. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. Rams! 160 wood, 75 gold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, we'll have all the battering rams we need. Mining there. You go mining there. Minio. And then the other two will be lumberjacks. Actually, what's that gonna take? Mm, Three hundred food. A few onagers or scorpions too. Um, not enough wood. Not enough wood. Cafe. My ass. There's not enough wood. Go. Chop. Chop. <laughs> get it. Get it. Cause. Cause chop. Chop. Cafe. You are persistent. Okay. Congratulations. You've caught the attention of the army. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? What's going on here? They're not attacking, they're just scouting. Oil, pirates. Ah. Hey, where do you think you're going? more rams. No, wait, I have enough rams. I want more scorpions. Uh, and then I'm just gonna make, like, ten knights and ten soldiers. How much for, how much for knights? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. You know what? Seven ain't bad. Not enough gold! Not enough gold! One, two, three, four. Oh, not enough food. <laughs> Knights for the French get a very nice bonus indeed. So, we're going to make use of that. Okay. Okay, I want you on food. I want you on... Rocks. Hey. I want you on wood. Is this the best you've got? Oh my god! The scorpions are taking care of it. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Let's take out the Southern British first. I'd rather not have to deal with Sir John Falstaff if I don't have to. Um, so I want one, two, three. Oh, not enough gold. I need, I need a good deal of gold. Okay. And I think the one I didn't send someone else to was gold, right? Yep. Politely ask you to not. <laughs> okay. And you shall be our builder. Um, hmm. We can build a 
castle. Oh, yeah, we can definitely build a castle. I'm gonna build the castle right <laughs> We're not using stone for anything else. Um. Yeah, we need some sort of research to to do that, don't we? One more night. That's eight nights with two more on the way. We can create pikemen. Pikemen are cheaper. Uh, and stronger smell to use, especially on the sweet spurs, archers, and other infantry. The English prefer using bows. Um. fishing boats and have them get us even more food. Uh, they only cost 75 wood. I will sell a bit of stone. Only have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We, we don't even have, like, regular... Regular archers. <laughs> Bolt! Bolt! I'm being attacked by the Northern English! <laughs> the, the southern British are trying to get through. Cafe. Oil pirates. Let's deal with that, shall we? <laughs> um. And I wanted some archers. Actually, I want a crossbowman. That's 25 wood and 45 gold. One, two, three, four. Oh, just the three. Uh, anti archer. I want these guys. <laughs> he just walked right into that. Alright, let's get everyone kind of in one place here. Oh, and prepare yeah. to attack the southern British. Now, it says you have to destroy one castle of the British. You have to destroy one southern British castle and one northern British castle. Hey. Me Sad. Where's my idle villager? Used to be a button for that. Pray, libe. Oh, you built an entire castle by yourself. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Is this a big enough force to teach the British a lesson? Wait, we don't have our skirmishers. That's five. Five in production. You know, let's get four more villagers so we can get more resources! <laughs> Hashtag feed the machine. <laughs> if 
I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Fix that. Okay. So the thing about Oleon was Oh. Um Joan was originally just sort of meant to be there as a standard bearer. But she was inspiring. Not only were the soldiers inspired by her, but the commoners were as well. And as Joan went about the business of uh trying to start a fight. Oh yeah. Um the the enemies were just like what is this? This is ridiculous. So they seriously underestimated her, but the people rallied around her and not just the soldiers. Ordinary people oh, yeah. went, picked up Before. weapons and began trying to assault the English. No. Just random everyday Joe blows. Ah, the towers got him. Oh, just in time to die! <laughs> oh, yeah. And eventually they just couldn't deal with it anymore. as many more knights as I can. Six is not bad. So that I at least have some kind of force if the English try for an attack that's a little more civilized than that. Um, but yeah. So, the, the generals were trying to get Joan to just sit down and listen to their plans, but Joan was like, no. No. If God is on our side, why are we playing nice? And why are we not taking risks? God will reward our risks, will he not? Café, Pirax. Okay. Okay. Just decided, you know what, just let let Joan do her thing. Almost there. Almost there. Alright. Everyone, 
Take yep. care of that. Everyone, uh, all the siege on uh, the, the, the the rams go for the castle. This is the most dangerous part of the mission. Mostly because Joan will run off like an idiot and potentially get herself killed. The Duke Galanzon has fallen in battle! Yep. Or the Duke. The Duke will do that too. Thankfully, he doesn't need to survive this. Everyone on the castle! Except you. Kill that knight. Don't help him out. Can it be that the French have finally learned to fight? Okay. Oh! We only needed to get rid of the one! Sweet! Alright! Well, we are victorious! Joan prophesied that she would be wounded at Orléans. In the height of the battle, an arbalest bull knocked her from her horse. We could not believe our misfortune. But as we carried Joan away from the carnage, the battle was won. Orléans was free. When we entered the city, the entire population cheered us on from windows, rooftops, and city streets. They fired artillery into the night sky and shouted aloud their nickname for Joan. La Pucelle! The Maid of Orléans. La Pucelle! La Pucelle! So, we did it! <laughs> That's different from how it was in the original game, where you, you had to get rid of both castles, but... I... I did what I had to do, and I was victorious. Sweet. Could it be they finally learned to fight? <laughs> Alright. Well, that settles that for the time being. Join us next time for the cleansing of the Loire. See you then.